Welcome to StockSync. Today, we'll guide you through the Google Sheet connection method on step one. Begin by entering the shared link to your Google Sheets feed file into StockSync. If you're wondering how to obtain this link, here's a quick guide. Navigate to your Google Sheets, document, and make sure you're on the sheet. You want to sync. The link in your browser should end with a browser, should end with a A number, which identifies the specific sheet. It looks something like this. Sample link. Next, you'll need to add the Stock Sync service account. Stock sync at appspot.gserviceaccount.com as an editor. This is crucial and must be done without setting the document to be accessed by anyone with the link. For sheet names other than sheet tone, specify the exact name in Stock Sync. If you're working with multiple sheets, you can separate them by commas or use the sheet index, like so. 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Please note, if your workbook includes multiple sheets, ensure that the column mapping corresponds with Sheet 1. For those who have sheet names with wildcards or specific dates, consider using the Sheet Index. This way, there's no need to update the name regularly. You can write it as 0 or like 0, 1, 2, 3 to include multiple sheets, as Stock Sync supports this format. Once you have your link and sheet details in order, click on Test Connection to ensure everything is set up correctly. If your feed file starts with a header, don't forget to enable the first row, is header option. Once you've made all the necessary selections, simply click Next to Continue. 